Peace, family. Peace, 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 peace. All right. So I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, know that your day is going to get better once your perception gets better. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Dina Bryan. I do these positivity videos. Okay. Probably like three or four times after the week. It depends. All right. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about gratitude, right? And how sometimes we tend to allow our current circumstances to get in the way of all the many, but all the many um, things that we should be grateful for. Okay, so I always like giving a story. Okay, especially me sharing my life and showing you guys, you know, how is days where as though I may not feel the best. Or I may wake up in the morning and I'm feeling a certain type of way because my perception, I'm allowing my ego to get the best of me. Okay, and let's talk about ego for a minute. So we all know, all of us have egos, okay? And the ego, I would like to say, is our best friend, okay? But a lot of times we allow the ego to run our lives, all right? So... Instead of, you know, for instance, me in the morning. So this morning, okay. When I woke up this morning, okay, and even last night, okay, I had went to a buffet, um, and at the buffet, even before the buffet, I was feeling a certain type of way, right? So I was feeling like I should be a millionaire already. I should, you know, be living a life that I want to live. And I think when we... When we are so hard on ourselves and we say, well, I should be here already, you know. I think it's a part of us that's creating resistance, right? And it is is also us telling the universe, which we are the universe, we all make up the universe. We are telling the universe that the universe don't know what's best for us, right? And so this morning, last night, I had some crazy dreams. I had about probably like four dreams last night. Um, one of the dreams I'm trying to recall exactly like all four. So one of the dreams I remember, it was something about me creating a video, right? A YouTube video. And then it was three other dreams. I was like in someone's house and, um, they was like giving away stuff, like giving away coupons. I don't know what this dream meant, right? But they was giving away coupons and they also had a box we as though they said you could pick whatever it is that you want to pick from the box. And it was cash in a box. And I just remember in the dream, and maybe that's my subconscious mind telling me that I still have a certain type of relationship with money. Because in the dream, I was so afraid like to go to the box and pick the money. I seen everybody else picking coupons and stuff like that. And I was like so afraid to pick the money out of the box, right? And that's another thing. That's going to bring me to my next point. Okay. So, honey, I may be jumping, flip-flopping. Okay. <laughs> but so in a dream when I woke up, I started thinking like, oh my goodness, you know, I should be able to go wherever it is that I want. And whenever we saying I want or I need, I did in a previous video and I got this from Erin Dorothy. Okay, Dowdy, Aaron Dowdy, okay, who's a phenomenal YouTuber. And one of the things he said was, whenever you are saying you want or you need, that is creating resistance. And it's also creating lack, okay, because basically you're saying is you don't have these things, okay. And you kind of putting these things on a pedestal higher than yourself, I would like to say. That's another thing that he says. So instead of me standing in that state, Okay, I started thinking of the things that I do have, thinking of the things that I'm grateful for. So one of the things that I'm grateful for, okay, is that I can make money. Okay, that I can make money is no cap on how much I make. I can make money. But then there's also another thing is though I am, I am giving my time up for money. Okay, um, but we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna talk about that. We we talking about the things that we are grateful for. So I can make money. There's no cap on how much money I make. Um, also, I started thinking about my herbs, okay? So I'm no doctor or whatever it is. It's just um, I've been doing tons of research, reading and watching documentaries. And um, recently I started buying herbs. And 
implementing them into my life, my daily routine, okay? So, um, I started thinking about that, and I started thinking about the things that I do have, and the things that I am able to do right now, okay? And so, that kind of shifted my perception, my perspective on things okay instead of me feeling like oh well I don't have this because I tell you guys all the time okay man I'm getting comfortable honey hold on I tell you guys all the time all right that the more energy you put into something that you say you do not like or you do not want to keep on manifesting the more you will keep on manifesting those things why because that's where all your energy is going towards okay it's almost like I remember I was listening to Tony Robbins and one of the things he said was this. He said, if you keep on saying you don't want to crash into something, right? And you keep putting energy because we all have to understand that we are energetic beings, okay? Everything is, this universe is governed by laws. And also, we are vibrational, energetic, energy, okay? Vibration, energy, and frequency. So if you keep on spending all your time and days and saying, well, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. In the words of Tony Robbins, one of the things he says, if you keep saying you don't want to crash, honey, you're going to find yourself crashing. Okay. Because that's where all your energy is going towards. For instance, I'm going to share you guys. I'm going to share a story with you guys. Okay. One second. All right. And this was, okay, let me just, let me just get something clear. Okay, let me just clear something up. Okay. So when I was about, I was young. Okay. I was, I was young and I was, if some of you guys know my story, okay. Um, about when I was 12 years old and I was selling drugs and all these different things. Okay. And I don't think I did a YouTube video on that, but I'm gonna do a video on it. But anywho, so when I was like about 12 years old, right, I was well, honey, I was, I was well, okay, if, if you seen well, my name was there, I was 12 years old, I was well, I was into the streets, um, just living a lifestyle that, you know, oftentimes we do things when we don't know what our purpose is, or we do things when, you know, we operating from lack and scarcity mindset, so I was, well, I was drinking, I was, you know, smoking weed, I was, you know, doing all these different things, okay? And I remember I was going to, going back to my father house at the time, that's where I was, I was living at, I was living with my father. And I had to walk probably about, I want to say like 12 to 13 blocks or something like that, and it could have been longer, okay? And so I remember this one particular day. Okay, because when I say energy, if you keep on focusing on things and you keep on putting, you keep on putting things into, um, you know, using so much energy saying, oh, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. That's what's going to happen. So I was going back to my father's house and I was walking about probably like 12 blocks. Okay. And on my way going back to my father's house, I had drunk something. Okay. I don't know if it was liquor. I don't know if it was like all of it was juice, honey. But just know I drunk something, okay? And I had to use the bathroom so, so, so bad. And you know when you have to pee, right? And you're like, oh my goodness, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. And the more you keep on thinking about it, it's like the the faster and the more urge that you have to pee. So walking to my daddy house, okay. And on my way, probably like three blocks. To, like I in three blocks time I would have been at my father's house okay and I just kept thinking about me peeing me peeing me peeing honey and I done pissed on myself okay so I'm sharing it with you guys to give you sort of like I guess uh, analysis <laughs> right I'm sharing it with you guys to let you guys know the more you keep on thinking about something that's what's going to occur okay we are not our thoughts okay but if you keep on concentrating and on focusing on those same exact things that you say you don't want to happen, it's going to wind up showing up in your life. Why? Wow, because you are spending all your time on those things that you say you don't like or you don't want to show up. You're spending all your time talking about it and thinking about it. And just, you know, sometimes we even, 
we even do like a storyline like in our head and we even imagine certain things and it's not none of it is there none of it is there but since we you know put all the emphasis and all the energy into those things then that's what it tends to manifest so okay if you are feeling a certain type of way i always say you guys in my videos okay mainly on facebook okay that whatever it is that you're going through you have to understand that you have the ability to change it probably you can't change your circumstances right now but you have the ability to change your perspective to understand and understand and overstand that the universe is in fact working in your favor okay and a lot of times we have to change who we are before we say, oh, I want this, I want that, or take accountability. See, one of the things that I realized, and I realized it before, um, is that <clears throat> I have a spending problem, okay, at times. I don't want to say like I had, but I had a spending problem, okay? And um, one of the things that... I know and I understand is that I have to manage my money better okay so I don't think the money is the issue right like a lot of times we say oh if I had way more money then I would be X Y and Z but you do have money and then you spend it okay or you circulate it towards things that it's like you really probably don't need right and so um with that being said i just wanted to share a video and, and tell you guys wherever you are understand that you are there due to your conscious mind and also you can always change your life okay and only thing it takes a decision all right it takes a decision it takes a decision you know, when I was feeling some type of way this morning, what I started doing, I write a gratitude. And I told you guys, so many times, I have a gratitude journal. So every morning, no matter what it seems like, what it appears to be, okay, what the ego is trying to tell me, okay, I write a gratitude. And that, believe it or not, it shifts my perspective. Okay, because now I'm focusing on things that I do have and being grateful for the things that I do have and being satisfied for the things that I do have and not saying, oh, well, if I had this, my life would be so much better. No, my life is better now, boo. Okay, my life is popping. I don't even know if people still say that, but I do. Okay, so my life is better now. My life is popping. Okay, and with that being said, I love you guys. Make sure you're rocking out and believing in yourself.